Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So as I promised last week, today we're gonna try to build MSP430 GCC from source, and I'll be doing it on a Linux system. So let's get started. All right, so here I'm on a Linux system. Let's go to the browser, and I'm gonna show you where uh, the instruction on how to build MSP430 GCC. So basically the instruction, I, I took it from Kuntiki OS wiki pages. So you go and type in Kuntiki OS MSP4, sorry, MSP GCC, MSP43X. Then you click the first link. That's actually the wiki page of um, Kuntiki OS. So it's quite old, but I, I modified the script a little bit to work with the modern system and i posted that guide on github gist so if you go to gist.github.com and slash put my name over there ekyu and enter and the first one is msp430 gcc build.sh and that's where you're gonna uh, copy or download the, the script so I just click to download the script. Let's go over and extract this one here. Let's get into the folder. And this is the only script that we need. So we can delete this too. Put the trash. There you go. All right, I'm gonna close this and we don't need a browser anymore. Let's go over the terminal and navigate to the download folder maximize a little bit change to download and that's the script we're gonna modify so that it can be executed on a linux system so chmod plus x and the script name and before we execute the script we're gonna modify one thing in here which is the uh, install prefix so instead of in user local i'm gonna install it under home zorin msp430 so let's quickly check if there is anything else that we want to modify i think everything looks good and this is the thing that you want to copy. This is the requirement, all dependency that you need uh, in order to build MSP430 GCC successfully. So copy that and then just paste it. Oh, I think I missed that S at the beginning. There you go. Provide with the password. And that's basically it. Now I can execute the script. So the script is basically is going to download all the files required, all the sources, and then it's going to extract it and then start building um, the MSP for the, for the DGCC tool chain. So it's going to take some time for this to build. So I'm going to fast forward the video and feel free to skip if you want to and I'll be right back. All right, so installation, building and installation is done. And let's go ahead and try to test this tool chain. So first thing first, you want to export the path to point to where the, the newly installed tool chain is. So type in export path to slash home 
slash Zorin. If you remember uh, what we modified in the script earlier, the install prefix, so slash MSP430 slash pin, and then dollar paths for the rest of the system path. Now let's change into Contiki NG and try to build the example. So I believe it's at home. So that's Contiki NG, so that's examples, RPL UDP. And you want to type make target sky. So we're going to bid for sky mode. And nothing to be done, of course, because we already did it earlier. So let me try to clean it and do it again. And there you have it. So toolchain seems to work. Toolchain seems to work. See if it comes up with binaries. And yes, it does. We have a UDP client and UDP server. Now let's go ahead and test this binary on Kuja simulator. So change to directory of Kuja and type in gradle w run. Give it some time. All right, there you go. So we are within Kuja right now, the Contiki Network Simulator. I'm going to name, create a new simulation and name it Eka IPv6 Simulations. And let's create a server mode. Let's name it server. Browse to the RPL UDP, get the UDP server, compile and create. I'm going to create five of these modes, randomly positioned. Let's move this guy a little bit. And let's add client modes now. So let's name it client. Browse to the UDP client source code, compile and create five modes as well and you can hit start and there you have it Contiki NG IoT simulator running and we just used the, the newly installed and built MSP 432 toolchain uh, with this so it's working all right so that's about it so I hope today's video is useful to help you building MSP 430 GCC toolchain on your system. So please, if you have any questions or comment, leave it down at the comment section down below. Make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss any future video from this channel and see you in the next video.